Hello. Let's take a look on the update or set for the humans, the full version. Let's install it first. Let's enable it. And this is a test using a new machine that's a virtual machine with basically nothing installed, just the main things like the 7-zip, just things like that. So let's go to the add-on. Um, now you don't have to install Git to be able to, to install the, the add-on. You can make it work just by going the VM part and keep pressing one after another. Create VM, install pre-detectron, install PyTorch, install detectron. Then it's optional but important to use the offline model install. To to do this offline model install, you will need this for the humans optional offline model files. Because why this is important? Because a lot of people that I get in contact with me says they have problems when they don't use this offline install. So as it is available, you can download it from <coughs> Gumroad or if you get from Blender Market, it, you will have a Gumroad link that you can get it for free because Blender Market, <coughs> it's terrible to, to host big files. At least I, I'm not able to send such big files to there. And Basically, it's this. I pre-installed it here, so we don't lose too much time. And <clears throat> one thing that I wanted to show is, for example, let's process a video. Mm, this one. Another very important thing it's always good to have the console open. Let me resize this window and open the console. I will have it here. And you loaded the video. Now let's say you want to execute. This execute is when you have more than 60 gigabytes of RAM, if I'm not wrong. And, and you saw Oh, there is an error and it says to check the console. The console is this black window that you opened and here it says that Windows were not able to find the specified module connected to Torch and up here you, s you see that it says Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable is not installed and this may lead to DLL load failure. That's exactly what happened. What I've done on the add-on itself, you have below the installation part, you have the MS Visual C++ redistributable. It, this is a link that if you press, it's going to open in a browser where you, it will download the file that you need. And after downloading, you open the file and install it. It should be simple agree with the license, install, yes, it's a quick quick one and it's done. Sorry for my roosters, they get, get crazy at this time. Okay, and now if you go back and run it again, it should work. Remember, if you have less than 16 gigabytes of VRAM, of GPU RAM, use this execute with less VRAM option. You can see that now it's starting to process. And now you can load the animation using import raw. And here you have
have it. Let's play as just a simple example. Um, new things that you have on this version. Uh, cool thing that was added is this load the video on screen. So you created an animation from the video and you can use this video as a reference for finding tweaking. So you can press the load video and it will load the source video on the screen. And you can use it to make it a much better result. Another thing that was added in a few versions ago, better version, is the IK control. So now you can use the IK control with any other character that you imported from For the Humans, Wham or Slammer, and you have to select the character here. By default, after you importing a character, it will set the last one by default here. So you can import a character, and press IK control, and then it will do the process of converting the character to the IK control that you can use the inverse kinematics to drive the character. This option will switch between for the kinematics and invert kinematics for the hands and for the foot separately. Another thing that you have that didn't show up very much was the advanced IK options, which is you can select the floor. Let me change to the object mode. Um, you can select this. I, I think this floor is already set up. So if you move it upwards, it will be affecting the feet already. Um, and you can set up the foot lock. Foot lock. This option is, as the name says, for the foot lock. So if you can see that on the video she's moving the legs, and here it isn't because I set up the foot lock, and by default, when you set up, it locks the foot. So you can press clear, and it will release the foot. Basically, when you start to set up and clear, and then you start marking the places that you want the foot to be locked. For example, the left, I want to lock it here, and I want to release it here. Then you will have the animation of the foot locking and so on. This transition frames, it's the transition between when you don't have the foot locked and when you have the foot lock. The in is when you start and the out is when you end the animation. So you can use different amount of transitions to make a better, more fluid effect. Um, this works on the pose mode too. I'm not wrong, let me check, because my memory is terrible. I can lock the foot, let me try, lock the foot here, yeah. You can see it works on object mode. But if you want to tweak the information, you have to go to the object mode, select the object that you're, you are using, and here you have the the placements of the empty that controls the footlock. If you want to affect the transition between the footlocking and unlocking, you have to go to the pose mode, to that specific foot, for example, and here you have the influence control. And here you can control how long is the, this influence for example, I can push it here, you see that it affects the, the end result. Um, that's basically it for the updates. Oh, one very interesting update is that I made some fixes and packed the kit and the FF and bag inside the add-on, so people were having huge problems installing Slammer. Now, Slammer should work very simple. I, I made a test in this new machine and it worked great. What I did, what is important is that you install first 
for the humans, execute it at least once, so it will have everything set up, because Lemur uses some files that for the humans also use. And so install for the humans first, use it once, then install Slammer and you can use it and it should work fine. It also has the IK control available here and you can control if you see to see the option not using this button. It goes throughout all the the types of monocular animation detection. It will work on WAM too, you can see it here. If you press it, it will disappear. And all of them. Oh, another update that I've done is the quick save and quick load for the markers. What is the, the use of these markers? Um, the first solution to get a better animation that was done in this add-on was the Giacomo Spacconi smooth option. But the smooth option, what it does, it, it tries to smooth, as the name says, but sometimes not on the best frame possible. So what I found is the best way that you can use, can do to make a much better animation is to use the reference video as a reference, also on the viewport and try to select the best moments of the video and mark them using the markers on the screen. You can press M and you select the markers and you set the markers. And this quick save and quick load is so you can make all sorts of selections. You have four, four spaces and you can save it and you can clear everything and if you want to use it again you just have to, to load and it will load again. I done that because I saw that it works better if you for example do the selection and extract markers for the lower part, I mean the hip and the below the hip part, you do that separately from the upper part. I mean the legs and the spine and the head so usually what I do is select the bottom part, I mark everything, I save, I do a quick save, I clear the markers, I clear with the selected bones, for example, I press clear selected bones and you see that it has the keyframes only on the markers. Then I clear everything and do the upper part, clear, extract with, with the selected bones. Using this method, this workflow, I tend to have a much greater result. It's more demanding, you will have more work, but the results can be amazing. Even now, using <coughs> the key control, it should be much easier to fix the animation the way you like. Well, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, and bye.